These cookies are something else, let me tell you. They're called Italian ricotta cookies, and I'm so glad I found this recipe on Pinterest. I'll leave a link down below. We're gonna start off with one cup of softened butter, two cups of sugar. We're gonna mix this real quick. Add in two eggs and give it another quick mix. Add in one whole 15 ounce container of ricotta cheese. I know it looks a little weird, but stick with it. One teaspoon of vanilla. I'm adding in two teaspoons of vanilla because I'm not adding in any other extracts. The recipe says to add in one teaspoon of almond extract. I don't have any on hand, so that's why I'm adding in another teaspoon of vanilla. If you're a fan of lemon, you could add in lemon extract. To the bowl, we're gonna add in one teaspoon of baking powder one teaspoon of baking soda, and four and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I did not scoop out my flour with my measuring cup. I spooned it into my measuring cup. Yes, there is a difference. The first one packs your flour in and the second one doesn't. Now that our dough is mixed, we're gonna use a cookie scoop. I wanna say this is about a tablespoon's worth. This dough doesn't feel like your typical cookie dough. It is very wet, so it may not release from your cookie scoop as easily as most of your other doughs. Place your dough on a parchment lined baking sheet. The recipe says to refrigerate your dough for one hour before baking. I can't bring myself to do that. A whole hour is too much torture. I just can't, I can't, no. Into the oven at 350 degrees for eight to 10 minutes. All that's left is to make the glaze. Since I like lemon, we're gonna make a lemon glaze. You'll need two cups of powdered sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla, half a teaspoon of lemon extract or almond if you settled on an almond extract for your dough, and two to four tablespoons of milk. I started off with two tablespoons of milk and realized I definitely needed more, so I went with the full four tablespoons of suggested milk. Now all you need to do is grab your cookies and gently dunk them into the glaze, shaking off any excess. Do you see all the bubbles in the glaze? Now they're on my cookie. To fix this, all you need to do is grab your fork and gently stir it into your glaze. This should break up any bubbles. This is a very delicate cookie. It's not your typical crunchy cookie. It's not even your typical chewy cookie. It's very delicate. I almost wanna say it's cake-like, I open one up towards the end if you want to stick around to see what it looks like. Once you've dunked a few, go ahead and add on your sprinkles before your glaze sets. I'm going with these classic sprinkles. While checking out other similar cookie recipes, it seems like these sprinkles are the most common ones to accompany this particular cookie. But I suppose it really doesn't matter. If you have Christmas sprinkles, why not use those? Not only do these look awesome, they taste so good. The recipe says that these can be stored uncovered at room temperature or in the refrigerator for up to four days before they start becoming soggy. I'll be honest, these did not even last 24 hours. I made my husband take them to work with him and he said they were gone by lunchtime. They were that good. If I were baking these in the middle of a blazing hot summer, then yes, I probably would have refrigerated my dough for an hour before baking. I will leave a link to the recipe down below in the description box if you have any questions. I will try and answer any in the comment section. Thank you for watching and if you like this video and would like to see more, please like and subscribe to my channel.